Welcome again, eBay's YouTube. A little video about cushions and leather covers. Here's a, a leather cover I built about a year ago. It's um, a couple strips of Velcro to hold it in place. It's sealed really well. Velcro, inflate it here. It's a Rojo. Um, just keeps it away from getting punctured. And uh, cleans out real nice. I also made a backrest out of leather, lots of holes. You can only do this if you've got way too much time on your hands. This backrest, it's a copy of a J, I think a J3 or something. I built it out of actually four layers of this type of, it's pre-cured, I don't know how many is in here, but this is about, I think 0.15 thickness. You can get a sheet of this off of uh, eBay. That's eBay, the thing that sells everything there. You can get these a big sheet, a four by a four by um, four by one foot sheet for about fifty bucks. You can pre-cut it, glue it with epoxy. Once you sand all the sand the pieces that want to go together, get some epoxy in there, and you can do it on a you can set the bend. Once you've got them all glued together, you can use seal meal I used a big bag of seal meal to do this one. It's clamped here by only one wheelchair clamp, three rivets, some washers, aluminum tube. The whole thing weighs one pound. Um, okay, so this is the stair climbing device. You just snap that out and set it like this. You can go up the stairs, but not down. It's really, this took a lot of evolution to get there. Now this is the seat belt, cell phone holder. Um, love these brakes. These are these locks, the most awesome brakes ever. You can, uh, they just do a great job. Can't say enough about those. Anyhow. Um, I like this strap as low as possible, prevents the feet from falling off. If it's higher, your feet tend to drop down, bouncing downstairs. Another thing that happens is, got a little Velcro here. Um, I put Velcro on these and removed about a half pound per shoe. You know, you worry about pounds on your chair. Your shoes weigh a lot. You don't walk on them. I built this for a tennis chair. So I could just get into the tennis chair real quick, no straps. And it doubles as keeping my feet, um, keeping my feet um, stable when I'm bouncing downstairs. Water, gotta have your water handy. This is tubular stainless. Aluminum just breaks too quickly. It's out of the way. Got a little keychain. Got a uh, heart monitor Velcroed here so I can check progress. A few things here, popular things I need, Velcro to the bottom of my chair, it's got a wallet. Anyhow, that's about it. It's a, here's another cushion or two. This is an old one for a low, pro, low profile Rojo. I've had this one several years. When I use a low profile Rojo, I got a very light piece of foam. This is used for flooring under here inside the cover. That helps from if you're positioned wrong. And uh, this is a very old one. All these, all these have been made on that sewing machine. It's an industrial singer I got years ago. I burnt my knee on it, that, that motor down there. Got to watch that. No, that's okay. That's... I was going to show another way of stair climbing. This one has a solid aluminum that I carved myself out of a block. You have to move the, the wheels to the second hole just to activate them. It's kind of a drag. I've got that on some of my other videos. Anyway, can't say enough about having a, ro a Rojo and a leather cushion. They seem to last a long time and uh, they don't get punctured.